We do large scale retail colo that is high density. So we're talking about engagements that are in the 100,000, 200,000 monthly recurring revenue. Our cloud services are, are quickly catching up and, and, and even some quarters bypassing the revenue that comes in from, uh, from co-location services. From a delivery perspective, uh, it helps from a scale out for them. We're able to launch product very quickly uh, within you know, a matter of days. They're able to get more uh, additional resources added to their, their, their cloud infrastructure. Onboarding has been, become a very important topic for us as, an, as a company. Uh, we help with the onboarding process uh, hand in hand with, with, with our client base. We also embrace the open source community. So uh, Docker, for example, we've created Docker plugins for our control panel. We do a lot of uh, Linux based systems, operating systems, a lot of Debian, a lot of uh, CentOS uh, installations also. So our clients are, are doing more of a hybrid mix and match approach. Their enterprise ERP systems need to run on Microsoft VMware stacks, but yet their websites and NoSQL databases, they're running on more open source technologies. One of our focuses in differentiators this next couple of years, it's going to be in more specialized IT workloads. So we're going to embrace a lot, of, a lot of what Intel is doing from a, a even a offloading of GPU perspective. That's why, why we are very excited about the Iris Pro graphics processor. We have clients that are that are doing media transcoding and also encoding uh, and encryption. So for that for that for that kind of use case where they don't need a full GPU offset with a lot of memory, they just need uh, standard stock processors and good value add. The Intel Xeon processor, Iris Pro graphics processor, has been a great value for that. So in the next five years, I see the, and again, our focus is on commercial space. So in the commercial space, that 50 to $500 million company doing less and less of their own infrastructure, that's, that's gonna continue, but they're going to do it with vendors that can provide like infrastructure. In the next 10 years, I see there, there being uh, more federated uh, clients that, that are savvier, where they're taking multiple cloud providers, interconnecting them better, uh, and then right-sizing their IT workload based on vendor choice. The space is so big and there's, there's going to be a lot of specialization and diversity and it's going to continue to expand. So I see Intel uh, embracing that further.